The North Sea, 100 miles off the Norwegian coast. These are the North Sea oil fields, and this is the Lewick Connector. The world's most advanced subsea construction vessel. The man in charge of operations is Simon Melton, an offshore construction manager with 28 years experience. Each hour, each minute, each second has a cost and uh, we have to justify that cost and we have to make sure that this ship is working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's always a customer and they're paying uh, for the best vessel in the world and they uh, expect uh, it to be working. Simon and his crew are in a race against the clock to complete a multi-million dollar job. They're on the final leg, replacing worn flexible oil pipes 350 meters below the surface that stretch underneath an oil platform. Ken, if you stay where you are, please. Seven, can you come this side of the, uh, the boy for me? Right to that. On deck, the crew are preparing to deploy one of the Lewick Connector's secret weapons. A cutting-edge remotely operated vehicle, essential for underwater operations. As the vessel holds its precise position using the very latest satellite technology, below deck, ROV supervisor Joseph Drake is in position, ready to take command of the submersible. This is the control room. It's about as good as it gets on any ship. What you've got here is a station with two pilot stations that can do exactly the same thing. So you can have your pilot here flying with your co-pilot on that side. From here down is pretty much what controls the ROV. Then we've got a video suite to record and display all the data. From the control room, the pilots will maneuver the ROVs to the seabed. They'll carefully navigate through a tight network of flexible pipes known as risers, which transport the oil from the well to the platform above. When they locate the old riser, they'll detach it and retrieve it to the surface before a new one is lowered 350 meters from the ship and connected to the well. It's an intricate operation with little margin for error. You can just see Every single line there is a riser, so um, it's very important not to be damaging other existing equipment in the water. I mean, there's a lot of money and risk involved. As the ROV moves into position to disconnect the last riser, on deck, the 270-ton replacement is readied for its descent to the seabed. Handling these kinds of loads in rough seas and with precision requires specialist equipment with unbelievable strength. The Lewick Connector solution? An offshore crane with the capacity to lift 400 tonnes and the ability to constantly adjust with the swell, a technique known as heave compensation. In choppy waters, a conventional crane will pull its load in time with the motion of the ship. With motion control, computerised hydraulics work to compensate the ship's movement in the water keeping the load stable to within a matter of centimetres. While the crane positions the new riser for its descent, 350 metres below the ship on the ocean floor, the meticulous work of replacing the final riser is well underway. It's a very challenging job, this. This is probably one of the most complex riser replacement projects anywhere and uh, that's why we've got the vessel and we've got that's why we're doing the job inch by inch the new riser is lowered from the ship it's a painstaking process that continues as the day shift clocks off to grab a few hours rest while on deck the operation goes on okay vls can you pay out one meter a minute yeah, right thank you it's not until the next morning that the task nears completion. It's taken four weeks of round-the-clock work to get to this point, but finally, it's job done. That looks good, guys. The arsenal of specially designed subsea equipment can be lifted back onto the deck for the last time. It's been another successful operation, completed on schedule by the 110 highly skilled crew of the world's most sophisticated construction ship. 
we've got the, the full package. Anything you want to do, we can hopefully do it.